All righty, so I do not have a starting lineup for this because oh, timing I and scoring doesn't start the race until the first lap. Oh, so no, that's okay. We'll get this. We'll get through this together, Jeffrey. Well, I'll I'll, I'll look about preventing this in the future because I think we have lineups that we can get from downstairs. I, oh, okay. I talked to them already. Cool. Thought we were good. So, like Tommy said, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna get you the full list and lineup of this. Um, I'll speed. I'll speed talk it. Are you, are you recording on this, yes. too? All right. Just making sure. All right. I just got done looking at a bunch of figure eight cars, man. You ready for this? I'm, I'm ready. All right. Here we go. Mini stock main event. This will be a 30-lapper here on the Quarter Mile Orange Show Speedway. Austin Edwards brings the field to the green. 25 laps of racing. 25. I apologize. Austin Edwards, Robbie Harriman, Zach Zanange, Kyle Klein, John Soros, Don Minnett Jr., Danny Fritz, James Teets, Jim Snow, Chase Shackelford, Brandon Snow, Joe Perez, David Rice, Jeff Hensley, Bruce Copeland, Stan Youngblood, Victor Martin oh Garcia. Boy. And your leader around, all to the inside. <laughs> and the 48. And then the 48. So your leader, Austin Edwards, goes around. Yeah, he had some help. A little bit from that trucker. So that'll be Zach St. Ange in the 88 using the bumper and the lead now. That'll here oh, on the yeah. front straightaway for the lead. Here comes the number 86 of Soros. He takes the lead through turns number one and two. And a bit of a battle back here. As we go yellow, yellow, yellow for debris, I'm guessing, or possible oil down, because I do not see any cars spun around. Cause it's probably for me, because I blew out someone's speaker. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Um, so, Tommy, like I said, I was just walking the pit area, uh -huh. getting to see some of these drivers. Now, we talked about... Yeah, you were getting the scoop. You were putting cameras <laughs> on cars for our, our post-race YouTube edition. I think we found some debris, some fiberglass. Yeah, red flag. Um, so, yeah, I, uh, I was talking to some of the drivers. Uh, like you said, we're putting on some onboard cameras for the post-edit yep. of the race. And, and, and by the way, everybody... Yes. Speaking of post edit, yes, the three-hour figure eight race at the Indianapolis Speedrome, yes, has been posted as well as a few other local classes. Uh, those uh, are being posted every day, uh, I believe, till tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the last upload. Um, no, I apologize. Monday will be the last episode. But the three-hour, all four hours of our three-hour coverage <laughs> have been posted on YouTube. That is low-budget TV on YouTube. But what were you saying? Well, since we have some time, what do, you, what do you say we go through the starting lineup here? Let's do it. So you see the leader right now. I'll give you the rundown. Oh, I, yeah, the running order. John Soares, your leader, the number 86, the 88, the only truck in the field that is the number 88 of Zach St. Ange. Danny French in the 77. He'll be third. Fourth, the number 49, that is Jim Snow. Fifth place run of the 15 of Kyle Klein. Sixth place run of the 2X of Robert Harriman. The 55, Joe Perez, will restart at seventh. Don Minnett Jr. is eighth at the moment. The 51 of James Teets, ninth. Brandon Snow, the 50, rounds out your top 10. 11th place, the 10 of Chase Shackleford. The 81 of David Rice, 12th. The 68 of Jeff Hensley, 13th. Stan Youngblood in the 04 is 14th at the moment. Austin Edwards slips back to 15th as he's trying to figure out they're doing the, the cone. Oh, they're doing the cone rules. Yep. So we'll get to that in a second. Yep. Victor Garcia, 18X, 16th, 17th, uh, uh, Tony Edwards. Bruce Copeland rounds out the 18th and final spot on the track So uh, yeah, we'll, his we'll, spin. We'll work on getting the starting lineups from downstairs. I didn't know our monitor was going to be I doing did, that. I didn't know that either. That didn't happen in the Bandoleros. No. So the cone rule, for those that aren't familiar with it, they put a cone out. This is... Predominantly a one groove inside groove racetrack. They put the cone out there. These drivers have the option to start on the inside or the outside. Makes it fun if you're deep in the field. 
and you want to take a chance. This track, like you said, an inside groove racetrack. You're making a gamble. You're making a chance. And sometimes you see drivers get away with it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, trouble. You see sparks out of the 10 of Chase Shackelford. He won a month ago, Jeffrey, when we were here at Orange Show Speedway in the mini stocks. Wonder if maybe a control arm or something is dragging suspension-wise. It doesn't look to slow him down at all. Whoa. But it's not going to be pretty into turn number three. And we got four cars collected. We go yellow lap number four. And see, suddenly the sparks just don't seem like that big of a deal. No. I mean, he's still sparking. I wonder if, like, a chain is dragging. Tommy, that's that's an issue that you and I have. Yeah. I'll be curious to see if we have any uh, short track tempers. It looks like Rowdy's got something to say to the 10. Uh, nah. No. Changed his mind. Thought he was going in for a door hit? Yes. Right, let's see if we can pull up a replay here. These cars are trying to get unstuck from each other. All right, so here's the replay. Down the front straighter they go, all in a pack. As you see them out of turn number two. Now here's, we see the chain or something spark in there. And they collect not four cars. Not often that you could successfully take a car out with your front and rear at the same yeah, time. Yeah, definitely not. So you see the 04 caught up in that one, Stan Youngblood. He got to the side of the 55 I think I, of Joe Perez. Somebody just showed up with some uh, shoes. I, I was going to say with fertilizer. <laughs> what do you mean? Look at that. Look, unless he brought his pillow, he's going to sleep. Oh, you're right. <laughs> he, might, he might be going to sleep. He don't, he don't want to sleep. He puts it in the bed. Now, <laughs> Tommy, the last time that you and I were here at Orange Show Speedway, actually, let me let me take that back, what I was going to say. I was going to say the last time we were here, but well, last year when we were here for this event, uh, mini stocks dominated the uh, time. Yes. <laughs> uh, I noticed that while I was in the pit area, it seemed like Bandoleros were trying to one-up them. Eight, yeah, the Bandoleros for a, what, a seven, eight-car race, they took the longest time so far out of these two main events. I was told earlier that cautions were going to count for all divisions, but that does not seem to be the case at the moment as we are still on lap number four. So maybe cautions do no longer count. Well, then. What, uh, we talked about, like, races that we were really excited for tonight. Obviously, the figure eight race really uh, has a hold on why we're here. But... I also want to give a shout out to that lay model race. That looks like a stack lineup. But Tommy, you and I both kind of looked at this uh, mini stock race and went, dude, it's mini stocks. Well, it helped that we were here a month ago doing a little uh, coverage here from Orange Show Speedway. And that race was just as exciting as probably this one is so far. And here comes the cone rule on the back straightaway. So we're going to see the cone in action. Who's going high? Who's going low? This is it a gamble. You want to stay on that inside line. And the first one to take it is the number 77 of French. Then Snow. And any other takers behind? Yes, Rice will go. Edwards will go. He's trying to get as many spots back that he can. Anybody else back here in the back of the pack? Now, if it works out or the inside line has an issue, you can go from 10th. 15th up to who knows so Austin Edwards he the last time by he was 14th right now he's slated to start to restart 8th so yeah but look how many people weren't willing to go on the exactly outside. and Edwards could be stuck on that outside going to the back again so it's you gotta have a lot of confidence in your car with that cone rule taking that outside yeah, but when you have a door like the 77, you don't worry. You don't Fr worry. French is good. It's replaceable. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. I mean, ask the 88. Yeah. <laughs> we saw that 81 car on his outside restarting six take a hard hit last time we were here. Yeah, a month ago here. He slammed the wall out of turn number four. We go green. I thought I saw a bit of a issue there, but no, they keep it green. 
Here we go racing. It's a restart with 21 laps to go. Street Stocks, they'll be coming up next here on lowbudget.tv at Orange Show Speedway. Battle for the third spot. French to the outside, working that groove. Edwards slipping back from that cone rule. Snow and Rice as well. So the only person I had to work for was the 77 of I think, French. I think the 18 might have an issue, Tommy. That car slipping back quick. Yeah, and he was in our first caution. Not sure if that would be related. So the 18, your pole sitter, Austin Edwards, going off the track. Field single file through this lap number seven. John Soros, your leader right now, about about five car lanes. Sounds like a motor issue for the 18. Yeah, something with an 18 down a cylinder or something. We're gonna see some lap traffic coming to play right now for your leader. And we saw this coming to play the last time the Mini Socks had a big event. 18X, Victor Garcia goes wide, so he'll let John Soros and others go by on the inside. Victor Garcia, we've seen him racing out here at Orange Jones Speedway for many years. Another track, Tony Edwards, or I'm sorry, uh, yes, Tony Edwards in the 118. He'll go down a lap. That's a nice, bright looking car. We see Tony Edwards doing a lot better out here usually, but not sure what the issue is for the 118. We see right below him, you see about him for the second spot. Duking it out here, the 15 machine in the second spot trying to hold off Zach St. Ange. That's Kyle Klein in the 15. Zach St. Ange in third using that truck's bumper. He's looking to the inside out of turn number four. Not gonna have to run out of the exit. Wouldn't be the first time that bumper's been used tonight. And it's again used in turn number one and two. And around us, turn number two, the number 50. He keeps it going, we stay green. That's the number 50 of Brandon Snow. Starting, I'm, I'm starting to see a correlation there. The 49th Snow and the 50th Snow. Ah. So what you're telling me is the 51 is not born yet. <laughs> oh. This is your, oh. oh, speaking of snow, that's Snow in the 49, who falls out of seventh, Jim Snow. And a parking in the infield done for the ninth. Again, this is a battle, well, that's not, but this is a battle for second. Heavy lap traffic for your leader right now, John Soros. He's picking him up, going to the inside of the 68 machine of Jeff Hensley. There's Edwards again in the 118. And this young blood who was caught up in that first yellow, or second yellow, I should say. He goes a lap down by Soros. So Soros has the car of the night so far. As we have eight laps to go. Battle starting to heat up is this one. And yeah, you see battles over here, three car battle between Minute, the two of Harriman, Oh, in trouble over turn number four, the 10 off the track. I wonder if this sparking issue has just caused the DNF for the 10 of Shackleford. We've seen this car sparking for a few laps. Actually, most of the race. Yeah. So Jay Shackleford, we saw him win here. Oh, boy. Last month in the mini side, he's going to be DNF tonight. Five to go. And this battle for the second spot, Jeffrey, it's not letting up at all. Zach St. Ange in the 88 truck behind the 15 of Kyle Klein. Battle for the second spot. Bumper is tagged over to number one and two. Zach St. Ange wants to try to get by the 15 in case of the caution. He can really try to make a move. On your leader, Soares. Well, the time is ticking out. We'll be two to go at the stripe for the 86 of John Soares. And these two are still oh. picking around, and around goes the 15 of Klein off the bumper of Zach St. Ange 88 truck. 
Well, that's the second car off of that bumper. It's been a busy bumper tonight. It's been full of action, that's for sure. Oh, uh, do do do. And do, 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 do. Well, I don't know if Kyle Klein's done with the 88. <laughs> so we're going to hang out real quick. Watch this. See what transpires between these two. There's the bumper being applied back. So and far. You wouldn't want to scratch up those pretty cars. Well, well, Kyle Klein. They, uh, uh, you said pretty cars. Kyle Klein, <laughs> he probably did the nice thing. We're going to pull up a replay here. The nice thing. Taking a look at the replay, a lap before the incident. There were oh, no, the, I'm sorry. This is not the lap before. This is. Z, see? There well, let's go. watch it again as he goes down the back straightaway. <laughs> well, yeah, the straightaway was the most exciting part. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, just bumper. You were on it, Jeffrey. Yeah, well, the reason you saw me zoomed out is that the battle that we've been having for the fifth spot has been pretty intense, too. I got a phone call right now. Hey, you should tell her that. Uh, Who do you think this phone call is right now? Uh, the president. Hang on. Donald Donald Trump. <laughs> What's up? There are three laps to go in this mini stock main event. After this, we're going to see the street stocks take to the track. Late models follow after that. And then the reason many of us are here tonight, the figure eight 300 lapper. Now, now we keep saying the reason we're all here tonight, but I got to say this late model race is a big deal for a lot of these late model drivers. In fact, a lot of cars that Tommy and I have not seen before going to be racing here tonight. There's something going on here on track. Looks like the 88 may have been sent to the rear. That or he's lapping the field. Uh, keeping an eye on seeing how, how things end up sorting. But again, I want to thank you all for joining us here on Low Budget TV. This is not the only event that Tommy and I cover throughout the year. In fact, we also uh, this year covered the three hour race at Indy. World Figure Eight Championships out there. That was that was intense. That was not Donald Trump, by the way. What? That was my sister-in-law. Close, but no cigar. Donald Trump's not your sister-in-law. <laughs> You're telling me this now? Oh my goodness! I just you just made me realize. <laughs> I, no. My sister-in-law is the president of the free world, and yet you can't get five bucks. <laughs> no. That's why we're low budget TV. <laughs> exactly. So. Uh, no, no big issue. They're just stuck on the exit of the freeway. At Disneyland? No. Uh, on their way. I guess the car, some car issue. I don't know. Oh. It's in. They said it's in drive, but it's not driving. <laughs> what? Sounds like a problem. All right. Well, this is a lengthy caution for a spin. I think we're trying to figure out. The uh, lineup here. Figure eight race. We're going to restart this one with three laps to go, and then the Super Stocks come up next. I'm going to be with you for the start of the Super Stock race, and then I'll go adjust some cameras. Yeah, I got two to mount. And then I, I don't know when we want to start. I guess near the end of the late model race. I think we'll just have Matt, yeah, run, run down. down. and They'll all be in the staging lines. It'll be a 100 lap, $5,000 to win late model race, unless, by the way. Unless we should just start it during the red flag. Oh, we, the still, we still have wall cameras to mount, too. Yeah, I know. But it's good. You know why? Why is that? Because we're here. We're the stacked audience. Are we gonna are we gonna have some fun with them? Yes, we will. Coming up next, I promise you. Aha! 
So for those of you viewers that are new to Low Budget TV, we want to welcome you. I don't know if you've been over this, but welcome all you new viewers to Low Budget TV. If you've seen us before, welcome back. We love to have you all back. And um, we will be asking you throughout the night coverage questions. Now, what is a coverage question, you ask? Well, we'll post on our Facebook page for you to comment and answer, and we'll be reading off your answers directly from the Facebook page comments on air. So you'll get a piece of the action here as we get ready Saturday to go. Saturday night shootout. Back to green. Oh! oh <laughs> Youngblood spinning out on the front straightaway. Battle for the third spot. Donnie Minnick in the 12 machine. And the two. We had a couple near dumps in the turn number three. They are really stacking them up throughout this hole. David Ryan slipping and sliding. He pulls it to the infield. Good job on holding on to that 81 machine, but he's going to go from the 12 spot backwards. White flag waves one more lap for the 86 of John Soros, who took the lead early and never looked back into turns number three and four and to the checkered flag. John Soros, your winner here tonight. Second spot will go to French. Third spot, Minute. Third, or fourth spot, the number two of Harriman. And rounding out your top five, that'll be the number 51 of James Teets. Kyle Klein, six. Joe Perez, seventh. Zach St. Ange, eighth. David Rice, ninth. And Bruce Copeland, tenth. At the end of that 25 lap mini stock main event. So your winner, John Soares, parking that number 86 at the start finish line. And wouldn't you know, the snow is helping each other out. championship night and I realized we were only 22 points out of the lead. Um, we did everything we could tonight but we fell a little short. But this guy next to me, he deserves to win this championship. He raised his butt off all year long. Well, and, and again, you got a great group of people that you hang out with you, and I guess that makes it what's fun about coming to the track on Saturday. Oh, absolutely. One of the things is this is like the funnest class there ever is to run. These guys are all a bunch of great guys help each other out. This guy even got somebody to go home and get a car for him so he could run tonight. So, friends, family, sponsors, getting smart. Uh, of course, Rod Proctor for keeping this place open for us. Uh, Pinnacle Peaks for all they do. Uh, Lone Mark, LAQ, LKQ Pickle Park. And of course, my sponsors, Lucas Oil, um, Eco Smog, and um, Stick Shift Transmissions. Man, we must you, miss you, Russ. And the world's greatest cylinder head guy that makes this thing thump like it does, Mr. Kenny Berg. So, again, one more time, give it up for main event winner, Johnny Soares. And he, talk, he talked about a little bit about it and how much fun this class is because everybody goes out there and just beats and bangs and has a good time. But when it came down to it, his car wouldn't start tonight. It wasn't going to make the main event. It put his championship in line, and one of these drivers gave up his ride so I could introduce your 2017 Mini Stock Champion, Robert Harriman! How's it feel, bro? 
I am speechless right now. You have no idea the heart and tears I've gone into this, these cars. Not this car. This is my first time maybe driving this car. There's more laps I've done in this main event than I've ever driven in this car. Um, I don't even know where to thank people. Uh, John, of all people, helped me try to get a rear end for my other car to make tonight. We got it in and broke that at rear end. So I had to go and get a buddy to help me get another car. I got another car. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to make a turn left. I'm trying to catch him and not let him get too far ahead of me. <laughs> it came down to a, a we are family. There's no doubt about it. We all help each other out 110%. I got to thank Joe Fernandez for even letting me borrow his car for crying out loud. But of course, I have to pay the bill and know him everything else. <laughs> so he's going to get a beer wherever he's at. Um, I got to thank my sponsors, Gopher, AJ, AJ Equipment, A Aerial Service, Dave, Denise, my dad, Manfred, that puts the power pad under the car that I do drive. I don't know his motor sp sponsor, I don't know his guys, <laughs> but XX Graphic Raps, number two, me work, Metal Works, all of it, and everybody, I really appreciate it. I'm finally I'm a champion. I can't believe it. <laughs> well, come on, give an all show speed race size. Congratulations, your 2017 champion, Ray!